Hey there, everybody. It is your friend and teacher, Mr. Dix, here at my setup. Do you want to see it? I'm at home, ready with my dual monitors, my green screen, my good lighting to do one last video with you guys on our multiplication facts. So this is for those students that already practiced our mastery challenge one, our mastery challenge two. You know all of these 26 facts from twos to fives. Do you still know, do you know four times seven is 28? Do you know that five times nine is 45 in a snap? If so, you may continue. If some of these, to be honest, you don't quite know yet, please make flashcards on little index cards and practice. There's no shortcut to knowing, you just gotta get there. So today we're gonna see, do you know those final 10 six to nine multiplication facts? So we're gonna check for fluency. I'm gonna give you three seconds, which is a good amount of time for you to be able to answer in a snap. Now, of these facts, there's only 10 of them. I do use the commutative property to mix them up to practice too. So like six times seven, you'll also see seven times six. So we're gonna practice this and see if you can answer before it shows up on the screen. So what you should do now, get a piece of paper, even if it's like a whiteboard, whatever you need to write down to pause the video, to jot down if there's a fact that you didn't answer, if you were a little slow on, because that's on you, not me, on you to write down and practice. I'll help you quiz those facts later, but let's find out which ones you can do, okay? Let's get going. 42. 72. 36. Nintendo, 64. 72. 56. Okay. Are you writing these down? You getting them all right so far? If you've missed all of these facts, then we got a lot to practice. So I hope that you're writing down somewhere. If you've gotten these all right so far. 48. 49. 54. 56. 81. How's it going? I could do this. I mean, I'm a grown-up. I've been practicing this for years, but I, I promise I could beat you in a race. I was a little early with the snap. Sorry. 63. 48. 42. 63. 24. Okay, that's it. I have made this into a PowerPoint and jumbled them up. What you should do is if you knew all of those facts, you should send me an email if I'm your teacher and say, hey, I, I got all of the 10 facts or the 16 facts correct. And if you got them wrong, you should jot a note down of like, oh, these are the five that I don't know. And I'm gonna make some flashcards and go practice because you should, before you leave fifth grade, you should absolutely know these facts in a snap. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have, are learning your facts and you're gonna be ready to do some really hard math without having to use a lot of brain power on fact solving. Thanks for watching.